conquer is the motto. And as long as people continue to see themselves as separate from everything else, they lend themselves to being completely enslaved. The men behind the curtain know this, and they also know. The United States government has a history of commandeering military technology. It's happened over the years. You have tear gas, tasers, you go down the line. All these came out of military, uh, warfare, technology, things that were developed for fighting a so-called enemy. Now the United States government is commandeering the use of drones to be used on American soil and American airways and primarily to create the, the next large step toward the electronic concentration camp. Eventually drones will be equipped with tasers, tear gas. Montgomery County Sheriff's Office has a new crime fighting tool. The county revealed their Shadow Hawk drone from Vanguard Defense Industries. Now, it's the first of its kind right here in our state. The 29 pound, 72 inch long drone has an infrared camera for nighttime and can be fitted to fire grenades. But the county officials say the drone will mostly be used to help with missing person cases. A grant from the Department of Homeland Security helped pay for the equipment that cost $250,000. Divide, divide and conquer is the motto. Hey, heads up, if you're near Houston, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is getting a drone. Yeah! The chief deputy there reportedly has not ruled out putting weapons on his drone. You go, Houston. According to the news app The Daily, which is owned by the parent company of this network, the deputy said he does not plan to arm the drone anytime soon. But he also said adding a tear gas dispenser or a gun that shoots non-lethal rubber bullets could be, quote, advantageous. Of course, this will not be the only unmanned aircraft watching U.S. soil. Surveillance drones are already in use across the South. And the Department of Homeland Security has acknowledged it has a fleet of drones for watching U.S. borders and has for years. Divide, divide and conquer is the motto. It's begun already, as I told you. Oh, oh, I told you. And you didn't then, and you still don't get it now. We're becoming a police state before your very eyes. After 9-11, you were so freaked out, so scared, so vulnerable. And look, so was I. Believe me, I understand. I was there too. But something happened. And I first noticed it with the Patriot Act and then this wild hyper-surveillance. FISA courts were sidestepped, and I said, uh-oh, and then came more surveillance and more monitoring from every conceivable angle you could imagine. And then came the stage we're in now. Hyper-militarization. Police act like soldiers, armies. And when I tell you this, I blame myself for not being able to explain it better. This is critical that you understand this. Since time immemorial, there has been a deliberate firewall between military and law enforcement. Listen to me, posse comitatus. Stop trolling for porn and Google it. Look it up. We're like some third world totalitarian regime where it's martial law. Slowly, insidiously is happening. And for reasons I'll never get, the local police department's using unmanned spy planes uh, to catch suspects. Top to our look at stories around the news nation. According to the LA Times, the Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota has helped local police track down suspects at least two dozen times since June. The drones are similar to the ones used for unmanned operations in Afghanistan. Privacy advocates say that. Nelson County, North Dakota Sheriff Kelly Yonke went looking for six missing cattle on a Brossard family farm when three armed Brossard brothers chased him away. Yonke called the Highway Patrol, a SWAT team, a bomb squad, and a predator drone operated by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The drone was used to surveil the property until the Brossard brothers were observed to be unarmed. Then the SWAT team moved in to make the arrests. Freedom and liberty are being lost in deference to a false sense of security. Who could feel safe with a drone watching them while they're in their backyard? I mean, they can watch everything we do all day long, all day long, all night long, and all the next day. And then you might as well live in Havana. I have two words for you. 
Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. You think I'm joking?